right when cross devices finished their crack and hard they shipped the pedals out and then the brazilian customs went on strike they kept the uh, parcels hostage for like three weeks um, so everybody outside of brazil missed the release and didn't get their pedal but now it's finally here and it's a fantastic take on the univibe if you're looking for a super authentic vintage vibe that is not it but this addresses a lot of issues um, vintage vibes tend to have a lot of them are lacking in volume especially if you run them in, in front of a fuzz face um, you kick in the univibe and it, it changes the impedance somehow and then the, the the fuzz doesn't have the same amount of gain as it had when you didn't have the univibe on um, so this has a level knob and it has a ton of levels so it can counteract any volume loss they also added like tone control but not really tone control they did it in a very clever way um, you can basically change the bias of the modulation and you're able to put more emphasis on the lower like lower frequencies or the higher frequencies that is what the shadow knob does and then with the spectrum knob you can change the voice of the pedal clockwise is more like a fuller range uh, classic vibe tone and when you go counterclockwise there becomes more emphasis on the on the mids and there's an internal trim pod as well allowing you to change um, lows now you have pulse which is basically speed depth depth and level um, and then a switch to switch between well the vibe and the vibrato setting it's like the chorus vibrato switch on a, on a classic univibe and then there is a ramp switch which allows you to go full speed and there's a little trim pod here on the side an internal trim pod but it's accessible from the outside of the pedal uh, allowing you to change the ramp time so you can go instantaneously to the full ramp speed or have it like very smoothly go there um, reminiscent of changing speeds on a Leslie speaker rotary speaker uh, so you press and hold this and then it goes faster let's just listen to it we're gonna start with the um, vibe setting this is my clean tone <laughs> engage the red snapper for a little more a little more oomph right let's go get really throbby okay so let's change shadow to have more emphasis on the low end and more emphasis on the high end is on the mids and the highs so you're shaping you're shaping the univibe not necessarily just changing frequencies like a tone control but you're actually using the waveform uh, to change the tone of the pedal And 
this is max speed, like on its own. And slow speed. And this also listens to the little uh, trim pot on the side. So if you ra have ramp set really slow, the pedal will change the speed of the modulation slower as well. Let's go a little faster. Make it really subtle. And this is the vibe, vibrato setting. I really love how, well, he said to me it's it's not like a vintage vibe, and it isn't, but they kept really true to the original characteristics of a Univibe and just added stuff in a way that doesn't, like, destroy the original vibe. <laughs> oh my god, that's a terrible joke. Um, expression control on the side, so you can hook up expression stuff. And um, I love it. It's it's really, 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 really good. Um, the only thing that I don't really like is that when you have the RAM control set, this doesn't change like instantaneously. When I'm changing stuff manually, I just want to like change it and not have to wait until the uh, setting is there. But I understand that the design-wise, maybe they had to do that. I don't know, but you know. It's 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 just a minor thing. It sounds incredible. So let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are. And um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps to grow the channel and I'll be super happy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>